Hello beautiful, my name is Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel, Super Aging. Please like, subscribe, let me know where you're from, talk to me. Today we're doing a seniors mini band workout. Promising, promise it will be fun and effective. <laughs> if you don't have a band, don't stress, you will still be able to do the workout. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're starting in four point kneeling. After all these years, I finally worked out that my outdoor furniture cushion would be a great, great for under my knees. So I'm going to use that today. I'm a bit slow on the uptake working these things out. Let's go into cat cow. Just open the fingers, spread them apart, breathe in, lift the chest, breathing out. Press the floor away, point your head towards the floor. Two more. And last one. Bring your back, your spine back into neutral. We're working with the right arm and left leg. So I'd like you to reach the hand and reach the leg away. Lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg, lift the arm, lift the leg. Hold it and lower. Let's do two more. Lengthening the arm and leg, then lower. Last one. Excellent. Same side, just a little change. Lifting the arm and the leg, bring them out on the diagonal. Hold it on the diagonal. Bring your leg and your arm back in line with your torso. Straight back out on the diagonal. And last one, how are you going? A lot of balance work, a lot of stability work. Bring the hand and the foot down. Come back and go into a quick child's pose. Let's do that on the other side. Left arm, right leg. Lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg. Lift up, hold, reach the hand, reach the sole of the foot away, lower. Two more. How are you going there? Last one. Feel the length in your arm, the leg, and lower. I'm going into that helicopter movement. Lift up. Bring them out to the side. Bring your, out, bring your arm and leg out to the side. Hold. Lengthen your limbs. Bring them back in line with your torso. Let's do two more. Stay strong. Stay with me. Or is it just me having all the trouble? Last one. Hold it. Try and keep your wrist as high as your shoulder, your heel as high as your hip. Bring your arm and leg back in line with your torso. Bring them down and go into another child's pose. Good work. Good start. Let's go into a plank. Forearm plank. Press the forearms into the floor and away from you. Straighten your legs. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in and out. So to get the most out of this plank, you need to push the forearms away from you. Draw the shoulders towards your hips. Abdominals are engaged. I'm shaking already. Stay there or you can drop your knees and still work. So by that, I mean push forearms down and away. Lift the abdominals. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Staying really strong in your plank. I'm sure everyone's doing better than me today. Three deep breaths. Breathing through your nose. Out through your mouth. As you breathe out, draw the navel to the spine. All right, guys, last deep breath here. Breathing in through the nose. 
and out. Good. Come back. Let's go into a child's pose. Push the floor away with your palms. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. All right. And just before we start the band work, we've got six push-ups. So with the push-ups today, we're going to lower, hold it at the bottom for about three or four seconds. Then with a lot of oomph, we're going to push ourselves back up again. Are you ready? I'm doing mine on my knees, but let me know if you can do the four ones. I'm sure you can. Breathe in. As we come down, I want you to get to your low point. Hold it. Lengthen your spine. Then with power, push yourself up. Let's do five. Hold, hold, hold. And tighten your abdominals. Push yourself up. Four more, guys. Only four. Hold, 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 hold. Let's use explosive power for the last three. Go down to your low point, hold it, push up. Two more, hang in there, stay with me, guys. Please <laughs> tell me you're still here. And last one. Can we hold for five, four, three, two, one? Come up, come back into your child's pose. Wasn't that fun? I can hear you saying, yes, I loved that. Let's give the upper body a rest. We're going to go into sideline and we're going to be using the band here. So place the band round your sole of your foot. Now you can keep the bottom leg straight or you can keep it bent. That's totally up to you. Whatever you're doing, press the bottom leg into the floor. Keep the hips stacked. So what I don't want is you to roll back. If anything, maybe bring the hip a little bit forward of the lower hip. Abdominals are engaged. Shoulders are stacked. Are we ready? We're going to swing the leg right up towards our nose and bring it back. Now we're doing this with control. Let's do six. Five. Good work. Pressing the bottom leg into the floor. Three more. Two and one. A little change or a little little teaser, teaser movement. Bring the leg back up in line with your hip. A little bend to the knee, stretch the leg. Bend, stretch. Six, five, four. Get the leg longer. Two, one. Bring the leg back in line with your hip. Let's go into those controlled swings. Pressing the bottom leg down for eight, seven. Try and keep the hips still. Five, four, three, good work. Two and one. Excellent work, guys. Bring the leg back up. Little bend, stretch the leg. Use your glute to lift. Bend, stretch, lift. Let's do six. And five, and four, three, short and sharp, two, one. Bring the leg back in line with your torso. Back into the leg swings for eight, seven, six, five, four. Pressing the bottom leg down, keep your abdominals engaged. This is your last one. And our last movement is we're going to point the toe from your glutes and hips. We're doing tiny circles. Two more. A last one. Keep the leg long. Reverse. We've got two and one. Great work. Let's stretch that side. If you've got tight hips, you might need to straighten this leg. Otherwise, bring the foot over. Sit evenly on your sit bones. Lift the chest. Go into your twist. Rotation. Let's do that on the other side. Coming into side line. It's 
set yourself up, stack your shoulders, your hips, engage your abs. Press the bottom leg down. Let's start with the leg swings, coming forward and back. Feeling the abs engage, engaged. Six, five, good work. Try and stay stable. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bring the leg back out in front. Little bend and stretch. Little bend, stretch. Six, five, push the sole of the foot into the band. Three, tighten your tummy. Two, one, excellent. Set your posture again. Let's go back into your leg swings, guys. Tell me you're having fun. Six, five, four, three, two, Last one, bring the leg up, little bend, stretch, lift, bend, stretch, lift. Let's do six and five, four, three, two, one. Last set of leg swings, bring the leg forward and back. Keep the shoulders stacked, keep the hips stacked, minimize any movement in your hips. I know mine are rocking. Five more. And four, three, you've got this, two, last one, great work. Point the toe, circles, four, three, two, one, let's reverse, four, three, two, one. Ow, 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 I have to admit, my legs have really had it. (laughs) Go back into your stretch. Remember, you can leave this bottom leg out if you're really tight. Breathe in and breathe out. One more fun exercise and a little bit of mobility work to finish. Place the band around the soles of your feet. This is a tricky bit. Turning yourself, getting yourself back into four-point kneeling. And let's bring our, come down on our forearms here. What we want to do is try and keep the ears in line with our shoulders so we're not looking up. I'm going to start with my right leg and we're just pushing, straightening the leg and pushing um, pushing the foot into the band. Keeping the hips stable, you've got six, five. As you do this, push your forearms away from you. Three more. Two, we'll straighten the leg. One, good work. The leg, um, the leg we've just worked leaves the band around the sole, but put let the um, band go onto the ankle of your other leg. We're coming into a donkey kick. Bring the knee as high as your hip. Push the sole of the foot to the ceiling. Let's do six, five, four. Let's lift higher. Two, one. Straighten that leg. Lift the leg and lower. You've got six, five. Keep the leg long. Four, three, two. Last one. Good work. We get to do that on the other side now. Ah, Okay, let's do it, guys. I told you it was fun. Coming back down on your forearms, we're bending the knee, we're lengthening the leg. So we're pushing the leg directly behind us. Let's do six. Push the sole of the foot into the band. Four. Three. And push the band right away. Feel the tension on the band. One. We're going into the donkey kicks. So let the other band go around your ankle, lift the knee, squeeze the glute to lift up. Let's do six, five, four, higher, two, one. Good. Straighten the leg. Let's lift and lower for eight, seven. Keep the leg straight. 
five, four, feeling the work in the glutes, two more, last one. Oh, well done, guys. You've only got a couple more minutes to go with me here. Be well worth it to do this because you've worked hard. Well, I feel like I have. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. First thing we're going to do is place our hands on the ribs, bring our legs together, and just let the legs go from side to side, keeping the ribs still. So the work is from the waist and the hips. Couple more. That's it, good. And last one. Come over onto your side. I want you to bring this bottom arm hand to your knee. Bring the other hand on your, just by your ear. Point the elbow to the ceiling. You're going to bring the elbow down to the floor, opening up the shoulder blades. You're going to roll through the shoulders and bring the elbow or the arm towards, towards the floor. Two more. I love this stretch. And your hand's there holding your knee so it doesn't rock, slide, slide away. So normally what happens is your knee will rock back, but we want to keep the knee still so the hips can't do any of the work. Good. Now you can just turn over. I'm just going to come over to this side as we do the other side. So exactly the same movement. Elbow towards the floor. Slide your arm, we'll slide along the, no, that's not slide, roll across your upper back across the floor. Roll's a better word. And last one, well done. Coming back, let's, let's go back onto our back. What I want you to do is just to bring the ankle onto the knee. So I'm using my left ankle onto my right knee. Lift that right foot off the floor. Wiggle your toes. Keep your hips down as you draw the knees toward the knee towards you. Nice. Keep moving your toes. Feel the release in your hip. Bring the knee back in line with the hip. The left foot, we're going to the right side. So we're going to just push the left foot down towards the floor. Roll through the lower back and bring the left knee towards the left side of the floor. Of the floor, does that make sense? Probably not. And one more, t- bringing the knee to the floor, left knee to the floor. Excellent. Bring your both knees into your chest and let's do that on the other side. So this time the left foot is on the floor, right ankle is on the left knee. Upper body is nice and relaxed. Press the hips down into the floor as you lift the knee. Wiggle your toes. Draw the knee towards you, keeping your upper body relaxed. We're letting the tension go, aren't we? Bring the knee back in line with the hip. This time we're bringing the right foot towards the floor. And we're going to roll through the lower back, pressing the abs into the lower, into the spine as we roll through to the other side. And one more. It's a nice way to finish the class, isn't it? Just come up to a seated position. Maybe I'll dress myself. How did you go? It was short, sweet, but very effective, I thought. (laughs) Let's do a couple of deep breaths together and finish. Breathing in, bring your um, shoulders, sorry, open your shoulders and chest as you bring your arms back behind you. I'm getting hungry. My stomach has been um, grumbling for the last 10 minutes or five. Last one. Well done. Thank you. Let me know if you're here at the end of the class. That does mean a lot to me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.